Hey, welcome to Jackson No Trade. The show where two guys try to do stuff they don't know how to do. Today, we're making winter drinks. For cocktails. Winter cocktails. Cocktails. Like something you might find on a ski slope. For the holidays. First thing we're going to make is hot buttered beer. It's not what you think it is. Look at, look at, right at you, Harry Popper. So we have uh, the ale we're going to use today is this one. <laughs> Boddington's yep. Pub Ale. There it is. That's Boddington's. This is a man's a Boddington's man. I guess so. It's the first time I've had it. Uh -huh. I'm a Boddington's man. Heck yeah. <laughs> Are you drinking Boddington's? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> That's his best British accent. This is the sugar we're using for... It's magical. It's magical. What we're doing is is 400 year old recipe. This is a 400 year old recipe. It's not magic. We need 225 grams. Okay. There we are. Stinko to stinko. Well, first we'll do the beer. We'll heat the beer up. But I'm going to separate these eggs from uh, white sea eggs. Oh, jeez. What are you doing? That went around the floor. <laughs> so, hey guys. Is there a good problem? I'm add a fourth of a teaspoon of ginger. Half a teaspoon of cloves. Oh, damn. Half a teaspoon of knock mark. While he was doing all that, I uh, separated Five egg yolks. That is more than one egg yolk per beer. <laughs> so this is fresh nutmeg. That's how you grind up some fresh nutmeg. Okay. Now I'm going to stir this up. That's Matt stirring. So this is like spicy beer. Now, now we got to turn it on medium. There it goes. Okay, and then I think we have to mix the eggs into the sugar next. We got our sugar here, we got our eggs, and we're just gonna pop them in. Beat the egg yolks with the sugar. So you wanna do that with that whisk? Yeah, that's why I got it. And then you use it for your stupid beer. This is my favorite sandwich topping. It's just sugar and eggs. All right, and this we bring up to a boil? To a, yeah, a light boil. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Special effects. Because now we're going to uh, do a wassail. Here we come go wassailing. Four cups of cider. Got cider. Apple cider. Apple cider. Sweet apple cider. Not hard cider. That's two. You said about an inch of ginger? Yeah, an inch of ginger, grated or minced. There's a trick with ginger when you're peeling, you just use the back of a spoon just to take that skin off. I don't know. I don't see why why bother with this all this. It just peels off. You could use a knife too. Uh, it's not like a spoon's sharper. Why a spoon, cousin? Why not an axe? Because it's dull, you twit. It'll hurt more. So if you use a half a bean of vanilla. Oh, it should be a half one in there. Yeah. And a half bean of vanilla. Cut open vanilla scrape bean. It? Yep. Cut it open. Scrape out the guts into the pan. Oh jeez. Our butter beer has reached the simmer point. So I got to simmer it for two minutes. If you just move the camera over here to show our, like, our cutting skills. I'm just gonna mince the ginger. I'm just gonna mince the ginger because we don't have a ginger uh, grater. Yeah. That's the, uh... That's the ginger beans in there. Vanilla. Vanilla beans. Now we don't put the husk in the pod? Uh, yeah, why not? There's a cider and vanilla in here. He's uh, mixing the garlic up. So once we add this ginger, it's gonna simmer for 30 minutes. So this beer came to a, a boil. Then I lowered it down to a low setting to simmer. And it's just to do that for about two minutes, so that's what I did. 
Now we're going to temper the beer and egg mixture so it doesn't cook the egg. You want a ladle and a whisk? Okay. Just want to whisk it till it's all integrated. You add a little bit more. Love and joy come to you, and to you your lost sail too. And God bless you and send you a happy new year. And so we just have to heat it for another five minutes. Here we go, we'll I'm going to throw one of these, uh, all we'll spots, these uh, star anise into the wassails. Alright, you want while these are happening, do you want to make our buttered rum? Okay. This is 30 minutes simmering. Five minutes. So we don't have any ground. This is drive by. That was a drive by. We don't have any ground allspice. They have whole allspice, so we might have to grind it. So we're we gonna throw any more spices in here, though. Wait, what do you want to do? You got some clove? Yeah, we'll we'll do some clove and ginger. ginger and ginger. Cinnamon? Wait, no, and cinnamon. Let's throw a cinnamon stick in there. What do you think about that? I'm gonna put a cinnamon stick in the cider for the wasaya. Cinnamon stick. This is cloves. So just kind of. Just a little bit of cloves. A little sprinkly, sprinkly. These butter drinks, butter rum, butter scotch that we're making are cocktail drinks. So they're made just by the the cocktail glass portion. These are more batch drinks. Batch. What are you smashing up there? Allspice. Adriano. So that's how this started, and then after I mashed it up, that's what you get. That's how test in the mortar works. You just bang it down, then when it gets powdery, you kind of spin it like that. And little BBs. It becomes powder. Little BBs of spices. There's a cinnamon stick in there now. That's five minutes. So that's this guy, right? That is the hot buttered beer. Um, Son? Now we gotta add the butter. Yeah. One stick of butter chopped diced. Chopped diced. Chopped dice. You know, chopped dice. Let them go. Let them go cut that butter like a royal champion. A royal champion. The royal champion he is. Ah, uh, the ro oh. We're gonna wash that bit off. Now people stop the drinking this. Why? I don't know. I guess we're probably gonna find out. <laughs> <laughs> they stopped making it and drinking it. Oh, uh, stir in butter till it melts whisk with froth with hair. Whisk it and froth it. <laughs> it smells weird, man. <laughs> that smell weird. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Timer. Ten minutes. So for our butter rum, butter, 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 I have to muddle the spices in the bottom of a glass. Hang on a second. For the butter rum and for the butter scotch, we need to make like a uh, simple syrup of the Demerara sugar. Demerara sugar, should we explain what that is? Demerara sugar is just a... Uh, it's kind of like um, sugar in the raw, mm, I guess. It's like not all the way um, refined sugar, like white sugar is refined sugar. Wait, hang on a second. <laughs> Something's happening over there. So to make a simple syrup for these drinks, I'm going to need eight ounces of water, hot, and then um, four teaspoons of the sugar. On mason jars is often little measuring knobs as well, but these are so much more accurate, you know? Measuring knobs. Yeah. <laughs> officially, this video is officially brought to you by measuring knobs. <laughs> Four teaspoons of the uh, Demerara sugar. Nobody knows. What's happening? 
<laughs> I have to muddle all the spices into a tin. So I'm gonna do two dashes. So we're just gonna do a pinch. I'm gonna do three pinches. What do you think about that? Pinch. Well, this says dash, so three pinches. Or two, or two dashes. Four, two dashes. Four, four pinches. Four pinches. Okay, how much cinnamon? Mm, one dash. So two dashes? Four two pinches. Two dashes of cinnamon. Cinnamon? Four. Okay. Next up. You did the allspice? That was the first one I did. Nutmeg? No, oh, nutmeg in this tin? One dash nut. Oh Make. boy. Okay. Little spices. That's it? Yeah. That amount of spices? See. Yeah. Cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice. What am I modeling anyway? Butter? I don't know. You wrote this down, dude. Oh, uh, that's for the that's the five minutes. For the butter beer. Okay, so the butter beer is that's it. It's done. Okay. We're going to try. 400 year old recipe for hot buttered beer. Not Harry Potter buttered beer. Maybe Harry Potter buttered beer. Big ladle. <laughs> this is why they. <laughs> so they stopped making this. It's not bad. Hmm. I wouldn't. It's very sweet. It's not good. The beer is a weird flavor. It's all right. The beer has like a bitterness to it, but it's very sweet as well. I like it. It's not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's hot. Yeah, it's real hot. It's oh, it's, it's, it's like a hoppy milkshake. Yeah. Happy hot milkshake. You know how they happy hot chocolate kind of kind of happy hot chocolate. Happy hot chocolate. You know how happy they hot chocolate. Oh. I'll be out chocolate to you too. Alright. I'd cut back on the sugar maybe a little. Yeah, that's sweet. If someone gave me this, I'd drink it. I yeah. would never order this. I might order it just to be fun. Alright, so I got that like bitter happiness. It doesn't make me fun. I'm not getting that a lot. You know what tastes mine? <laughs> <laughs> how many, how many uh, winter drinks will we give this? On the winter drinks. How many winter of drinks out of it? what? Eight? No, it's a 12. 12? <laughs> Oh, Lord! As far as, I don't know, I haven't had the other ones, but... On a scale of 12, I'm giving this a 7.5. I was going to say 7. Alright. Let's say 7.5 both. On a scale of 12. Base 12. <laughs> Base 12. Like a ruler. You're making uh, the buttered rum? Buttered rum right now. Two tablespoons of butter. And then we muddle that. Now you mix this with the spices, so they say muddle, so I'm muddling it. But I feel like you could probably do this in, uh, by another means. This is... Like a bowl? Yeah. Usually don't muddle butter. Yeah. Now you take this business here, this spicy, spicy butter, and you put it right in there. And this is the hot sugar water? Hot sugar water. Here we come a wassailing among the leaves so green. Here we come a wandering so fair to be seen. And then for the rum, it says two ounces. I'm gonna do four ounces because this is a double double batch. Four ounces of rum, dark rum. That's the whole that's the rest of the bottle. Perfect. Okay. Wow. This is Ron Zacapa aged rum. Yes. Now if you're getting fancy you can serve this with a cinnamon stick. That was the uh, timer for the simmering of the wasail. So can we just take off the heat and finish this one? Wow. The wasail is done brewing. <laughs> We're supposed to use Irish coffee cups, but we don't have any, so I'm just using coffee cups. easier than the other stuff. It is. It's more alcoholy because it's rum. It has rum in it. And we're gonna make butterscotch the exact same way. Yeah! Those are good. But we're gonna put the uh, scotch in rather than rum. Okay, yeah. With the buttered scotch. Hot buttered scotch. Alright, next, uh, next up. You wanna do this guy? Sure. Yeah. 
sure. All we need to do is add the bourbon to that. One and a half ounce of bourbon per drink. Love and joy come to you, and to you your must sail too. We're going to strain some of the ginger and stuff out of it. Garnish with the lemon. Throw a couple star anise. Joe. Mmm, it's a hot glass of hot cider. Brazil. Brazil. Hot, 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 hot. Is it gonna be so hot? It's not bad. Yeah, it's not as sweet as the other ones. Which is weird because cider is pretty sweet. Yeah, the other one was just straight sugar though. Mmm. Mmm. I'd say let it cool, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna put it down. We'll come back to it. I'm gonna revisit this. These butter, are all butter rum. Pretty good. Butter rum's my jam so far. I like. I think I like that one the best so far. Wassail. Maybe, maybe, but it's gotta cool down for me. <laughs> all right, butter scotch. No, butter scotch. Basically the same thing we did with butter rum. I said, and we're gonna use scotch, not rum. Oh Quit your rewinding because it's spring on my chair. <laughs> you want to go crazy on this one and do something a little different? Rather than using this, we could use Chinese five spice. What is Chinese five spice? It's kind of like that, but it's a little different. We're going to go off the rails on this one. It's a little more licorice -y. Oh, yeah. What do you think? Sure, why not? Tablespoons of sugar. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you went tugboat there for a bit. No, uh, why am I mixing this all together now? Just do it together, right? Just get it with this ice cream scoop. Fire at it. That's how we do it. The first oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you pinched it. One, two, <laughs> three, four. Yes, I do. The cinnamon all spice. Things right over Nutmeg. Nutmeg. Now we're gonna do the Chinese five spice instead of all spice. One, two, three, four. Dun, 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 dun. So we're using Sia. Uh, this is a seven scotch blended scotch. Four ounces. Yes. I'll let this cool off a little bit and we'll sip our Wasail again. One, two, three, one, two, three, three. <laughs> Here I come up Wasail again. All right, we're gonna try this again. We are trying it though. Well, this is well cooled down a little. Uh, it's definitely very spicy. <clears throat> yeah, um, I think it's the star anise. Maybe it has like a weird, not weird, but a very strong yeah, it's, it's flavor. A, the whole thing there. Plus, we boiled it with it. It's almost mm. spicy. Like that's the ginger. Ginger. That's what it is. I like that. This is my favorite one. I think it's got the spiciness and. <laughs> Coffee cup coming at you. Hot buttered scotch with Asian mist. Ready? Asian five spice. Oh, wow. Hey, yo. You definitely get the scotch in there. This is enjoyable. I like this better than the other one. This is, this is very enjoyable. Better than the buttered rum because yeah. I just think that's because I like uh, scotch better than rum. That's the thing. This tastes like scotch. Yeah. <clears throat> the buttered rum tastes like rum. The butter room, I would say, is more entry level. That's like a more domestic. Yeah. This has got like kind of wild spices to it. Hmm. I, I like this a lot. The um, that five spice really changes this, and then scotch as well. The butter, everything about this is good. I like this. This is my favorite one. I didn't think I would like that licorishiness from the uh, the five spice. Five spice. There's a little bitterness on the back end of this one. Mm-hmm. 
which is absent in this one. The butter rum. Let me try that. Butter rum tastes like butter hot chocolate. Or, or the color difference here. You want to zoom? This is the, the this is like, dark let's rum. Zoom angle down. This is the dark rum, and this is the scotch. I mean, that's very good. The yeah, butter that's rum good is very too. Yeah, good. you're right. This is much more mild than this. This is more of a uh, old uh, scotch cocktail. Maybe like even it's a a scotch hot toddy. You probably like this. I think that butter is really doing something for it, though. Well, butterscotch is classic. Yeah. Okay. This is the wassail, hot butter drum. With the dark rum? Hot butter scotch with some uh, Asian fine spice. Butter beer. Butter beer. Uh, butter. For your holidays, I recommend any one of these. If They're you're ambitious, good. I think this is the most ambitious of them. Yeah. And it's definitely the most offbeat flavor, right? Yeah, for sure. If you um, want something simple, I think these guys are really eat great drinks for your holidays. Yeah. Either one of these will satisfy. Even this, it's not too hard. That one is like if you were feeling a little bit ambitious, but I mean, if you have a crock pot, this is the way to go. Like that's a crock. I think it's a good way to make a um, spiked cider. Yeah, that's what that is. I think I have seen this like being made in a, in a crock pot, like on online recipes. But overall, uh, my favorite, I think, is gonna be. I think I might go butterscotch. Butterscotch. That's my favorite too. And this has that. Really nice spiciness to it. I love that. I mean, they all do. This one's more that has the most spice. Yeah. Well, that's what we got here today. <clears throat> the tea, doing the things. Spicy winter drinks. Spicy winter drinks for your holiday special times. Uh, if you like drinks, and uh, you can't make these, this one you can make un non-alcoholic. Yeah, you just have to boil it for 20 minutes, I think. Or, li or simmer it for 20 minutes. This one you can make non-alcoholic by just not adding the bourbon. bourbon. These I don't believe you can make non-alcoholic. Okay. They're pretty much what they are. I guess if you bought this to a boil for 20 minutes, you would cook off the alcohol here as well. Yeah. Overall, great holiday drinks. Yeah. A fun time was had by all. Uh, we made a mess in this kitchen. Yeah. Yee. Yeah. If you like that sort of thing, hit the like button. If you like that sort of thing again, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> if you want to leave a comment about anything we've done, hit the comment button. And then leave a comment. As always, we are pleased to have made a video for you. And happy that uh, you watched our video. Yes. For the Jackson No Trade. Bow You're gonna make the sound. I do that later. Oh.